Hi everyone, this is John. I'm in Philippi, taking a short stop to go back down to Athens. And I wanted to stop here, one, just because it's cool to see, you know, old places, but second, and more important, uh, it's in the Bible, it's referenced in the Bible, and the Apostle Paul wrote a letter here, and he also started a church here. And I thought it was pretty cool because he started a church with women. And, you know, in modern day, there's always controversy about women leading in churches and whatnot, but he started a church with women, and he left it in the hands of women. And, and namely, one woman named Lit Lydia. <laughs> and I don't know if you're familiar with the story, but uh, Paul and Silas, they were imprisoned here. After being here for a little bit, they were imprisoned because a lot of people started turning away from, they stopped buying idols. So a lot of money makers that would make money from idols stopped making money. So they got upset. One way, one thing led to another. They got imprisoned. They were beaten and whipped. And while they were there in prison, they uh, started singing songs to God throughout the night. And in the middle of the night, there was an earthquake. There, and the doors were broken open, and their chains were loosened. In the morning, when the guards saw that uh, what what had happened, he freaked out because he was put in charge to make sure the prison, pr prisoners don't get out. Well, he saw somehow that the doors were open, so he was going to kill himself because he panicked. And Paul cried out, don't, don't do it. Uh, we're here. We haven't left. And the, the, pris the guard was impressed that they didn't leave. He was also afraid because he knew they were singing songs to God, and so he felt like the jig is up. Somehow he's in trouble. The judges of the city or whoever sent a word to the jailers to let Paul and Silas go uh, quietly. And Paul brought up this point that he and Silas are Roman citizens and they were beaten and imprisoned without trial. And as a Roman citizen, you were allowed to have a trial. It wasn't just like, you're a slave, get beaten. You know, you were, you were worth something and you had rights, but they didn't get their rights. So they made the point that, hey, you're putting us, you did this to us publicly, you beat us publicly and imprisoned us. Now set us free publicly. And the judges, they decided, no, just, just leave quietly. So Paul had them be let out by the guards to Lydia's house. And it says that in the book of Acts, and it's kind of interesting. And I've heard one uh, Bible teacher in put it inter interestingly, like, why he would he do that? Why don't they just go and be gone? Now, if Paul was being put in prison by declaring Jesus his Lord and and causing a stir with this, Lydia and, and the new church that was founded, they would be under the same suspicion, this the same uh, problems. So Paul, having sort of a card to play that he's a Roman citizen, he sort of blackmailed <laughs> The guards like, okay, you're you're doing something secretly to put us away. Now, by taking us to these women, they know, now know about it. So leave them alone. Let them be in peace. So Paul used uh, his citizenship to an advantage to help somebody. And it's interesting because in the book of Philippians, which he wrote to the church in Philippi here, he uh, emphasized to be like Jesus, to be a servant above all for the sake of others, as Jesus would do. And to think, okay, how did Paul do that while he was here? While, it, you know, going to prison and getting whipped to me is not something I would first elect to do when visiting a place, besides eating and check out, checking out the local scenery. And to think he was putting that first, and at any time he could have openly said, hey, I'm a citizen, let me go. But he put aside his rights, like Jesus put aside his being equal with God to become a servant. Paul was taking his circumstances to see where it would lead, and it led to the safety of Lydia and her, her church. And this happened here in Philippi. So to think, how can we put ourselves aside, even in circumstances that are excruciatingly painful, extremely painful and unfavorable for the sake of others and for the gospel?